Hey guys, it's Tiny Tom Logan back with another rush kit for you. And today we're going to be taking a rather quick look at the Corsair TX650M. Now this is a 650 watt power supply, although they do come in other models. This is actually the smaller one of the bunch. Uh, it's semi-modular, not fully modular, but it is 80 plus gold rated and comes with a seven year Corsair warranty. Now this shouldn't be confused for the old TX power supply, which had uh, sort of like little yellowy orangey bits on the uh, sticker because that was only a bronze rated power supply and it didn't come with, as this one does, 100% Japanese, 105 degrees rated capacitors. Uh, it's got a semi-modular fan as well, so it uh, spins right down when it's uh, not running very hot. It does say that it's got superior voltage regulation as well. And something else which was quite cool is it is actually designed to uh, be run at um, maximum power at a server grade 50 degrees C as well. So it can be run in very hot climates or in cases with very little um, airflow. Pretty much dressing the nuts out of it, to be fair. Anyway, when we get inside the box, you get all your usual paperwork and all the usual gubbins that you would expect. It will come with a power connector for your region. Uh, I'm in the UK and it may not be a UK plug, but it's just because my one has come direct from Corsair. You won't get the stick. This is just something that they include for reviewers with um, some specs and stuff on it, which is why I've got so many uh, Corsair pen drives lying around. Anyway, let's get the actual unit out itself. It's only 140 millimeters long. So it's actually 20 millimeters smaller than a what we would call a normal ATX power supply, which would normally come to about there. So it can be good for slightly smaller um, constraints, smaller cases, or if you're short on space. It does still have a 120 millimeter fan in it though. It actually looks like one of the old SP sort of style fans with an extra blade on it. It's got a normal um, uh, grill around the outside, so if you did want to unscrew that and turn the logo around, it's actually fairly simple to do. That's also kind of nice. You can see here that we've got the logo this way around for if you want the fan spacing up, but you can have it the other way around as well. The only thing I normally have mine facing up, just so that um, you don't have to look at the uh, specification sticker on it. Around the back, nothing particularly special to look at. Around the... Uh, the business end, you've got your two PCI Express connectors here, and then you've got a couple of peripherals in your SATA. When we uh, whiz this open, dun, 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 you have your normal 24 pin cable with uh, black cables, as you can see here, it's black and then with braid over the top. Although your four plus four, which is your um, CPU power that goes on the top left of the board, you can see you can split it if you want, but obviously you just bang the eight pin as you want it. And then the other cables that you get in the package are, there are a couple, so two, daisy chained PCI Express connectors. And by daisy chain, I mean it connects on one side of the power supply, but you get two PCI Express connectors at the end, like that. So, and they're six plus twos. So you've got the ability for six pins or eight pins on the end. And then you get, there's your Molex. So you've got a run of Molexes there with four Molexes on, and then you get two lots of SATA cables. I did struggle to find a diagram with all of the details on for the, the TX50M, but I've blasted it all out and I've put a nicer version of that online. Now, one of the things I will say about this TX350M is it fits kind of conveniently in the range. And I would say this is a really good kind of entry level power supply for someone that's running <clears throat> a slightly higher end rig because you've obviously got the gold rating on it, so you're gonna be spending a little bit more money on it, and it comes in at 83.99. And just to give you an idea about other prices, the RMX power supply, which is also uh, gold rated with Japanese capacitors and all that sort of stuff, but it's fully modular, comes in at 100 pounds. Uh, and if you wanted to go up to the RMI, which basically introduces the Corsair link, so you can monitor everything that's going inside, turn it, turn the rails onto multi-rail mode and single rail mode. Um, you can see temperatures, control fan, all that sort of thing. That then goes up to another, another 20 pounds to 120 pounds. So this does come in kind of uh, nicely. I've just seen the little clip has come out. Let's push that in. 
So, 80 quid, 650 watts. If you're not fussed about having fully modular, the only thing that I would say with uh, the benefit of fully modular is you can obviously add the customized cables on, which go right from the power supply up to everything in your rig. If you're not too fussed about buying those and you just want to get a decent power supply with a decent warranty from a good brand, like I said, 100% Japanese capacitors, rated at 50 degrees as well, for 80 to quit for 80 pound it's going to be it's going to be a struggle to find anything better so is this the one for you i would love to hear your comments in the um your uh, 